After a rare respite in Pendennis Marina, we sail Kadoa from Falmouth to the nearby anchorage of St Moors, where our story continues. Good morning guys, we are currently at anchor in the picturesque, beautiful little harbour of St Moors, which is just opposite Falmouth. Anyway, I've woken up this morning, I'm, I'm not being too loud because Carly's still asleep and she's not feeling well. But I've woken up this morning and it is, it's very foggy, but the sun's trying to pierce through and it's got this really, it looks, it's like something out of a, sort of the start of a movie. Or... It is uh, an early September morning, and I love September. September, weirdly, is one of my favourite months. I think the kids are back at school, so you kind of get the place to yourself. The sea's nice and warm, and I don't know. As far back as I can remember, we've always had really lovely Septembers. So they've always felt like summer, although, really, September normally is the closing months of summer before you sort of head into the autumnal months. And I love autumn. We both love autumn, don't get me wrong. We've had such an amazing year this year. I'm just not quite ready for the summer to be over yet, but what a glorious, mysterious feeling morning. I feel like the sun's slowly starting to burn through the fog now. I think it's going to be a good day. So therefore, I think we're going to take you on a little tour of St. Moore's. Let's come check it out. Hello, young grasshopper. Is somebody nearly ready for a walk? So we are anchored over here, just alongside St Moors, and we have come across the way and we are looking for somewhere to land on this beach. It is quite rocky and seaweedy and the tide is ebbing and this dinghy isn't the lightest dinghy in the world, so we're trying to find somewhere. We found a little sandy patch here. There is a little sandy patch here. With just as few rocks as possible to have to drag the boat back across oh, on the way. There's all the way sand down now. This looks like a good spot then. I did it. Oh, oh, you're attached. Oh, well, well done, you held on to the dinghy too. Dominic's just flying the drone and before I walk any further I'm gonna wait for him because I don't know if you can see in those trees that there is a lot of cows <laughs> and I don't know how Hank is gonna react to those so he's usually quite scared of them and he won't pass them so I'll probably have to put him on a lead to keep him close to us because otherwise he'll just sit this side and we'll never get by but it's a beautiful view that Dominic's capturing for you right now.
Can we pass? I don't like the idea of being kicked off the side of a cliff by a scared right, cow. Take... We thought better of it. <laughs> that cow on a narrow cliff top path, Hank spooks them a little bit. We've decided, decided to go up and round. Seems like a more sensible option. Let's hope he doesn't block the path as I'm trying to come past. Try right, little fella. Well, little is a relative term here. I'm comparing you to your comrades over there. You're quite small, but I respect the fact that you're four times the size of me. I've never seen you so jumpy. Look, I'm fine with cows. Just not when I'm on a <laughs> not when I'm on the edge of a cliff. I'm not. I don't think that's an irrational fear. Sharing a path with a bloody minotaur, I think. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, that water looks pretty good right now. It could it. Look at that! Even Hank's excited. That is crystal clear blue water. First week in September, so the water in England's gonna be about as warm as you could hope for it to be. It's always gonna be a bit fresh. But it's so hot out here that that just oh saying, jump in me, jump in me. I don't think you can get down to this particular beach without some sort of boat, paddleboard, something like that which really adds to the kind of, the charm of it, I suppose. You feel like you've really earned it if you get there. Holiday cottage, just don't tell me you can stay in it. I want to stay in it. <laughs> this place here is where you can stay, apparently. It's pretty cool. I'm definitely feeling that urge to go and climb in the water now. 100%. Haven't even brought a towel. It's that hot. I see a beach. Since our last video, we have had five fantastic new patrons that have joined the team. And I want to say a massive thank you to Darren and Michelle Green, to Terry Hamilton, Alistair McGregor, Jeff Edkins and Richard W. Thank you guys so, so much. And let's not forget everyone who donated on the run button since the last video, which you can find on our website. That's Andres Marinik, Samuel Lyles and Tom Simmons. Guys, honestly, thank you so, so much again. And back to the video. If anyone's been here hanging around with us for a while, you've probably picked up, certainly from this series at least, I have a somewhat irrational fear. I don't think it's irrational actually to be scared of a gigantic shark, but Stephen King did a number on me. Uh, is it Stephen King? No, Stephen Spielberg. It was the nice Stephen. Stephen Spielberg created that. God, Jaws. Just why, why did you do it, Stephen? Anyway, I was also scared of heights and I spent uh, the winter working as a rigger and by the time I left I came to the realisation that I wasn't as scared as when I started and I think they call this exposure therapy. I just kept going up, kept going up until eventually I kind of became okay with it. I wouldn't say I'm not scared of heights anymore, I just made peace with it. So it seems crazy to live on a boat and sail to all these really cool places and not really get in the water. That sort of half the fun, I would imagine, for people who aren't scared of sharks. So I'm gonna take myself over to the other side of the river now and I'm gonna I'm gonna get stuck in some exposure therapy. Let's see how it goes, shall we? Let's do this. How do you think the exposure therapy is gonna go? Um you'll be fine until the music starts playing in your head. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> right, I'll see you in a bit.
I would say that was a successful mission. I only thought about sharks about 11 or 12 times, which is an improvement. Uh, we found a load of scallops. Carly loves scallops. We haven't had any scallops. All the time we've been away, she's like, I'd love you to dive down and get the scallops. And I found one, and I found seven. Well, I'm gonna go get these back to Carly. So now that I've hunter gathered and uh, fetched our feast, as always, when we don't know how to do it, YouTube. YouTube, gotta love a bit of YouTube. the knife and gently free the white meat or muscle from the curved side. So there is also a saying amongst uh, shellfish eaters in the UK, and that is, you should really only eat shellfish in a month that has the letter R in it. And uh, I, spoke, I spoke to John, the guy from the fish locker who I went fishing with. I picked his brains on it. And I was like, is that something you really take seriously or is it like an old wives' tale? And he, he absolutely categorically said, no, I take it very seriously. And it's something to do with the type of algae in the water in the warmer months. Um, can be uh, problematic for us to eat, even toxic in some cases, really toxic. So it's September now. We're a week into September, so there's an R in a month. And so the scallops are uh, are good. So the chap on the video said they need a good few minutes to really wash off. He said it's more than a rinse, like a really extensive clean. I promise that next time. There is a scallop starter. And? Mmm. Mmm, -mm. that's good. Mother Nature provides again. Yeah. All right, anyway, I'm gonna wrap this up quite quickly. So I just wanna say thank you to everyone you know, who hangs out with us for 15 minutes, everyone who hits the like button and drops in the comment box and has a chat with us. It means the world, thank you very much. And to the legends, the superstars who support us directly on Patreon, both uh, our Patreon post and our early video members. Uh, from the bottom of both of our hearts, thank you very much. It really is very humbling. So we hope you enjoy the journey. We hope you enjoy the future videos we've got coming. And um, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tuck into this before Hank steals it because I think I'm, <laughs> I'm fishing, I'm fishing I'm up. Yeah. I'm okay cool. Alright guys, bye for now. Bye.